Okay, folks, uh, what I want to talk about today is I had a customer. He buys a Honeywell Wi Fi thermostat online and he didn't have a common wire. So I've already taken the liberty of fishing. This is a 18 uh, 8 wire that I fished up through the wall. This particular wire would be good for anything really up to three stage heat, two stage cool. But here in Southwest Florida, we only have one stage heat. And in his case, he has two stage cool, okay? So he doesn't have enough wires in his existing thermostat. He only has a four wire system when he needs at least a five for the common. So I'm gonna fish another wire from this air handler right on the other side of this wall. This is all I can do in this case. The particular thermostat he's actually using is this thermostat. I just want you to see this, a Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat. It's a RTH. 9580 WF, which stands for Wi Fi. We're going to put that in for you. We're going to do that on a separate video. So I come here, and here's the existing wiring, okay? So the first thing I've done is I went over here and I shut the breaker off, okay? The second thing I've done is I've actually looked at the wiring. I'm even going to pull out my anything that you don't need, you pull over here out of the way. It's actually, what I've done is here, I took this brown and uh, orange wire, the way this is for like a heat pump system. So I'm gonna pull out my camera and I'm gonna take a picture. Well, my camera's being uh, in the video here, but so I'm gonna take a picture, click, okay? So if I need anything in the future, if I have any references or any problem, I can just take it. All right, another thing I'm gonna do in this particular case is I'm gonna walk outside and I'm gonna look at the outdoor unit since he has two stage cool he has a common wire out there he has the red wire out there and he has the y1 and the y2 we're just going to walk right here it's right around the corner here's the breaker box that I actually shut off right they're all turned off we actually got it marked a h and c you make, make sure we don't short nothing out or, or, or cause any problems this is by the way this particular box i'll point this out this is what we call a square d home line breaker it's kind of like the ITE or the Gould, but uh, the Square D product, this is a good, good brand of panel, Square D QO. Here's the outdoor unit. This particular system is an Amana. Okay. And I want you to look at these controls here. Yeah, don't get all crazy over this, is what it is. But here, here's your right here. In this particular case, they even have a terminal block here, okay? Your common is your blue, okay? Which inside they have the green tied to it. Red is hot. They've got Y1 as the purple wire and Y2 as the yellow wire. I just really wanted you to come out here and see this. And if you ever need to go snap anything, just make sure you line up the R and C. See how I've got this lined up? It snaps right in very perfectly. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go inside. I'm going to fish that wire around the corner. I'm going to show you a little trick with the clothes hanger and we'll get this moving. Okay, so folks, I've come inside now and I've taken a typical clothes hanger, just something you've got in your closet that you hang your clothes on. I've cut it on both ends and if you look real close, I've got a tip. I took my side cutters out and I just cut a little tip on it at a 45 degree angle. Now, the reason I've done this, two reasons. One is it's very thin. Secondly, it won't make a big uh, hole in his wall just in case for some reason it doesn't work out and it, and it goes through very easily and to be honest with you I can take this rod right here and I can drill it through a 2 by 4 I can do it through pressure treated lumber Through a cabinet through sheetrock through ceilings. A lot of times when we uh, actually Spot our ceiling grills. We use these right here. So I'm just gonna come over here. and I'm gonna eyeball it Okay, so this here looks like a pretty decent spot, so I'm going to go through very gently. Okay, see how I pushed it? Now I'm going to go through the other side here. I am through. So now here's, here's where you go outside. We're going to walk back around. And what we're doing here, we're just spotting something out. is to save the customer's problem. So as you look over here, I want you to see this. See where the rod came through? Now, I'm gonna go back inside and I'm just gonna take my screwdriver here that I know that'll go to the wall and I'm gonna push it through, okay? 
So if you want to just stand here, he's going to show you what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to come out here and fish the wire through real fast. Okay, now see how easy that was, guys? So now I'm gonna take my eight wire. I'll come back and, and tuck it all in later. I'm just trying to do this for demonstration purposes, how to fish a thermostat wire into the wall, okay? So I'm gonna go over here. And this should be a fairly easy, since it's an easy shot, I'm not going to put tape on it. A lot of times I'll put a, the threaded, uh, excuse me, the uh, clothes hanger back in there, I'll put a little piece of tape on it. I actually laid a little piece of tape right here. But let me see how lucky I get right here. Just keep it straight, it should go right through. Okay, let me see if I got lucky there, guys. Okay, so it, it went through real easy using the threaded, uh, using the uh, clothes hanger trick. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna strip this back. And now you see he's got all the wires he needs out here for his new Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat. Okay, now we're gonna go back. What wires do we not need? We, does it, we don't need this black one for now. We're gonna use the blue, that's gonna be the common. We will not need this green one and not need this orange one, okay? So now I wanna show you what he's got here. This is his existing thermostat. This is the old one, okay? So here's what we got. So he's got the Y2, he's got the green, he's got the uh, W, which is heat, Y1 and R and RC, you see the little, they're interconnected, okay? What he's missing here is the common wire, and that's the whole reason we're here fishing the wire in. Okay, so I've got my wire fished up into the air handler now, and folks, I just want you to look at this, okay? This is really for your technicians and for your uh, do-it-yourselfers and maybe for some owners that are new in the industry. So I'm gonna follow industry standard as much as I possibly can, okay? So I probably should go inside and show you my other thermostat, but I'll do that in just a second for you. So here's what we're gonna do. So my green wire, so here's my green wire from my, my thermostat box. I just wanna show you this up here. Here's my control panel. Okay, this is, once again, this is a MANA system. And if you look down here, Here's my common, here's my thermostat, and then up at the top it kind of goes to my, uh, actually my outdoor unit. That's what this other harness is for, okay? So I'm gonna do this very slow and easy for you. So I'm gonna unhook the green wire from the thermostat wiring, and I'm just gonna tie my gr new green wire to it. Okay, now here's the most critical wire. Here's the whole reason we're doing this, this job to start with. I used inside Y1 is the first stage compressor. So I used the brown wire inside. I was gonna use the black, but brown's more of a common wire for common. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the brown wire. Now I'm hooking that brown wire up to the blue wire, which blue wire is common on most industry standard equipment. And really that's pretty much anything that energizes and cool, the blue wire is the common, okay? The rain, the ruds are usually brown, but we'll talk about that later. All right, so there's two of my wires out of the way. Now I've got my yellow wire, which was my two stage outside. So I'm just unhooking it. I'm gonna hook this back up. And if, folks, if you just take pictures of everything and really watch what you're doing, this is not difficult, okay? Uh, I don't recommend the average homeowner trying to do this kind of stuff because they'll end up most of the time crossing over the wires. They don't understand really industry standard is, is the thing, okay? Now, I've got a red wire here. Now, this is the red wire coming from the 
equipment and this is the red wire that was going to the the flow switches down through here okay so i'm just going to take the red wire that's coming from the equipment and i'm going to unhook okay uh you know what i'm going to leave this i'm going to leave this one here like it is i apologize i grabbed the wrong wire guys so forgive me i'm going to unhook this wire going into my cable that ties up into my equipment okay my old thermostat wire so I'm going to take this and just put this over here. And that's the safety switch. So if there's a flood or anything, if there's a problem, it shut it down. Here's the switch it's all tied to. Just so you know what we're actually doing here. That's what this does, okay? So we, all we've done is break it. Now, I've got the blue wire, which was my first stage compressor. So I'm, once again, I'm at my thermostat wire. I'm just going to unhook it. And I'm going to tie this back together. And then I've got my white wire, which is the heat wire. Once again, I'm at my cable here, going to my old thermostat. I'm just, just plugging and playing is all I'm doing at this stage of the game because I've already made sure I had the right wires for the right job. This customer needed a Wi-Fi thermostat. So we're having to redo this wiring because the original builder did not pull enough wires and that's pretty much common throughout the whole United States. Some, some places when you got gas and oil burns, you can use a, a device called a wire saver, but we couldn't do this down here because this is a regular straight cool system. Okay, now here's the old wire, the old thermostat right here, see? So we're eliminating it. It's done. Okay, so, so folks, that was really it. I'm going to walk inside, I'm going to shave the thermostat inside that we put in, and uh, that's really all there is to it. So I want to show you how to put the wires in this particular Honeywell thermostat. I went ahead and took the liberty of stripping everything back, and I've tied these all in. The only thing I really want to show you, though, is how easy this is to go in. And you just take them, in this case, you just slide them in. This, this white wire, WB, and then this green wire is going to be G. So sometimes I actually count down one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm coming down here. Slide it in. Now I've tucked everything back in there nice and neat so the thermostat itself will close up. This is just an extra wire that I had out here. So you never cut anything off. You always want to save it because you never know in the future what you may need, okay? Because things are always changing. And here is the thermostat that's going to go with it, okay? So we should be able to just put it right on. It should close. So, folks, if you have any questions, uh, we blog on everything. You can go to our website, jonesairconditioning.com. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Have a great day.